Sophie and Toffee, Disney 100 Cutie Keychains. Let's make some cute Disney charms. This box is so packed with stuff. If you want bold, bright colors, paint your mold with acrylic paints. It has to be acrylic paint to transfer properly. Other paints won't work. Paint details with a small brush and use a Q-tip to clean up. By the time you're done with two characters, your paint should be mostly dry, and you can touch up any areas that need more. You can also use Mika powder to paint your molds for a more muted pastel effect. Mix the long cure resin of your choice with white or glitter for a sticker effect and fill your molds. We use 1 1 epoxy. When completely cured, demold. There are a few ways to fill your lines and details. Here we use a fine 0.5 mm point sharpie.
Here you can best see the color difference between Mika powder painting and acrylic painting. The acrylic is much brighter. To fill these lines, we use black UV resin. As the resin will go on so thinly, the black will cure completely. The UV resin will pull itself into the lines like water, so it is very easy to get clear lines and wipe away the extra. Push and pull the UV resin into place with the tip of a toothpick. We also made some unpainted charms we fill with UV resin. Once the UV lines are done on the clear charms, you can paint the details with Sharpies, markers, or paint markers. This gives a more transparent stained glass look than the solid opaque acrylic paints or Mika powder. All of these methods of painting can be locked in by doming your pieces, if you want to make sure the color won't rub off ever. Once your pieces are painted, attach to keychains or pop sockets. <laughs> 